Everybody, I want to show you some mods I'm going to do. So I've got this dump dump load that's for the wind turbine. You can see the heaters right there. These things put off a massive amount of heat. The relay here, it puts off a massive amount of heat too. And I haven't had it yet, but I should be. And I'm going to be doing an upgrade. But this rectifier should be putting out heat too. Right now it's cool, but these... Dump load, these resistors, and that relay are getting red hot. So I've got this fan from Missouri Wind and Solar. And I've got a CPU fan that I'm going to put here. Then I'm going to put another blower fan here. Yeah, it's going to use some electricity up, but using electricity, this is a dump load. I'm burning off electricity that I'm making too much. This will just help. Also, I'm going to force the air to come through here and cool this thing off. I'm worried about the heat. I've got a tiny home cabin and with that. You can see I got a closet right here. I've got enough air gap in here, but I want to force that air out and also to help me heat the cabin too in the winter. But heat is bad. Electrical components that get hot is bad. So the next step I'll show you how it looks when it's installed. Appreciate you watching. Well, I just want to show you what I got going on here. I've got this fan, it's hitting the rectifier. I've got this fan, squirrel cage, hitting this relay. I've got a squirrel cage here that's forcing air up, over, and down. And you can just hear it just kicked on. It's not that loud. Then I've got another fan blowing direct air onto these resistors. It, to me, it's loud, but hey, it works. Form over function. Uh, it was getting too hot. I mean, when I say it's too hot, this relay, I, watch, I'm going to put my finger on it. Yesterday, I could have lit a kitchen match on that thing. Now it's cool. I've got air coming through here now. I feel better about it. This is also going to heat the cabin. This is the code spot of the cabin in the winter. So this would be nice. I'll probably be using less propane. So I appreciate you watching. Uh, please subscribe. And I'm trying to grow the channel. And I think this is a good mod to do if you got a, a wind turbine dump. And uh, these things get cherry hot. That re resistor pack can heat hot water, even make steam off of the water. I've seen tubs open and make steam using elements to heat hot water, not these resistor packs. So I appreciate you watching. Once again, now I've got a cooled rectifier. I've got a cooled relay. I've got a cooled resistor pack and you can see all the heat shields i put on this thing too i'm paranoid is just another way of thinking so i appreciate you watching and uh god bless there it is again success let it run for a little bit all right take care About to wrap the video up, but I want to show you something else I've done for the wind turbine and the battery banks. So I've added these gauges that are old school analog. This is a DC amp gauge. It goes from zero to hundred. It'll show me the output of the wind turbine. I've got a roof system of solar panels that show me the power for it. And then I've got some panels out in the yard that's my Harbor Freight system. So I can be watching TV and then I can see how things are doing. Kind of gives me peace of mind. And I want to watch that gauge and see how that turbine, if it's really putting out. And the way this gauge works, we'll come over here real quick. It uses a shunt. So there's the power and there's the shunt. Negative, positive, and then it goes to the meter. Works out pretty good. And like I said, you can see the fans that I installed. But anyway, this works really good. And... Uh, I just used a hose saw and uh, the, the gauges were screwed in in the back and then also got a hot glue gun to the back of it just to make sure that it's held in there. Screws and screws that way if I ever got to pull the panel out and uh, works really good. Appreciate you watching.